So the man say, no, so I'm going to lock you up door. So I say, shit. Look how we get with self now. Look how we get with self now. Welcome back to my channel. It's a girl Ash and this is Ash Media. If you're new, please subscribe, like, comment and most definitely share my videos. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MediaGirl.Ash. But before I get into this interesting story time, I want to show you guys my ring light. So I finally got my ring light. You know, I did this video saying that um, as a YouTuber, to start YouTuber, you don't have to have all these fancy things. But because I believe in quality production, eventually I want to have all these fancy things. So I started small with my first 10 inch ring light. Now I ordered my ring light on Amazon because I've been getting a lot of questions. So a lot of people is asking where I got it. So I ordered it on Amazon and I got it through Ship East Couriers. A matter of fact, I just send them the link and they ordered everything and I just pay them the money. Now if you want to get in touch with Ship East Couriers, I will be leaving their information in the description box so you can go ahead and check them out on Instagram. Now this is the light. It's a 10 inch i don't think i need anything bigger than this for now and it comes with this lovely tripod that can be extended right now um before i get into this interesting story time i'm gonna move over to my tripod but i really like this light that i'm getting right here so i'm gonna switch over to the tripod if it's better i'll use it if not the tripod i'm gonna switch over to the ring light if it's better, I'll stick to it. If it's not better, I'll come back to this. My lamp light. I'm using my lamp light. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Alright, 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 alright. Pretend I never saw that. Anyways, I was trying to do a different setup. However, I believe the all the ring light now on. Whoa. Enough of the glitches. I finally set up this ring light. I believe the lamp light was doing me more justice, but I don't have time to break down everything back and switch over to the lamp light. So let me just get right into this story time because I know you're waiting for this story time. Now it was one eventful Sunday night. So my mom and I went to visit her friend along with her daughter and her daughter children. Now we were there having a good time because I haven't seen my friend in a long, long while. So we were there, we weren't mindful of the time, the cook, we ate and stuff like that. And we were just there having a good time, catching up and all of that. Now when I look at my time, I realized it was after 10. So I said, shit, but curfew gonna start from 6 o'clock. But we said, the no police not curfew. We never seen a police or a soldier yet, so it's safe. Now we are walking. Okay. No, don't send a message to nobody. Okay, let me know if there's anything else you need. No. Sorry about that, guys. Yes, so we left the house now because I realized it was late and we were walking. And so now we are walking home because we live like 15 minutes or 20 minutes walk from their house to our house. And I didn't bother to drive my sister's car because one, we don't have a license and two, the tire defected. So... We did a walk. So we just did a walk now. So we were like at the bottom of the road. And at the top of the road, I realized I saw three big black dogs. No. <clears throat> no. When I saw the dogs, I think they were just having a little dog fight. But the dog, they just really a prepare themselves for me and my mother. So while we are come closer to the dog, Mr. Mommy. All you have to do now, all we have to do, I just act like so we have bend down, bend down to pick up stone to throw at them. So I'm saying, mommy, remain calm and do not run because the moment you run, the dog them are going to run way down. And me not think you can run. Anyways, when I reach closer to the dog now, I realize them start come for me. You know, like when, my, when them are back and them are come towards and I come towards you like this. So me I said shit no. So I start act like me I bend down and take up stone and my mother I do the same thing and I prepare for when they run down the road and I say act like you pick up stone and don't run. 
So she follow through. She was a good student. So she do what I tell her to do. And we just do that. And we have got through. So my things are doing that was enough. Me realize that the dog start to run down on me. So me not know but. All of a sudden, me just want half a black rich now my hand. Now me just pick up one half a black and me fling the black over upon the dog. And I saw the dog them kind of ease down. So like we have been the corner now and me have pray to God so the dog didn't start running me down. So me just have a climb me take up soon and we'll reach out to the side of the dogs. Anyways, then turn on my heart to beat my body full of cold but my eyes feel like it'll come through my mouth. Come here, so look how we are fret by police and a dog will come back up in here. Anyways, we are what now? That was like five minutes walk, so we have like ten more minutes walk for go. So now we reach out on the main road, me say, mommy, if police catch you now, we know a problem. So when we were walking up on the road now, we saw a light, so we never know who it was. So there was this open garage on the roadside. So when we saw the light, we ran into the garage and we hid behind the open back van. So we were hiding behind the van and realized it was a bike and it was just a man and a woman on the bike. But this one, while we were hiding, we saw one big dog a creep around the van side. So we said, Mommy, one dog, one dog. And if the dog saw it, he might go assume so we we'll probably like, try to take something and attack with. So we me, me push her and say, I could move for her. Um, Run and the van fast before the dog see him. Anyways, we escape that dog. So we are said, oh, so people up on the road. Because see the man and the woman on the bike here. So we're safe. Now, we are continuing our walk on the road. When we reach at a particular point, I said, mommy, it's so like how they hide down the so behind the van them in the garage. If a police supposed to catch you right here, so we don't have nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide. As me say so, me see a bright, bright light, a bright, bright light, bright as day, coming around the corner, and mark you, we don't have nowhere to hide, nowhere to hide, so we, the light, so we could hide back at one car, or, me they ask to one gate, and me say, mommy, me could pull the gate and go in like, and this so we live, but we are saying, we can't go open people gate and dog run with dung and then things, so we are teeth, bigger problem. Anyways, the, the car, I realized the, the bright light and the car was drifting over to our side. You know, them new type police kind of van there. It, it would look like the new type of rough force. So they were driving one of those and the light was bright. I could see. So see me here now. I may look and then drift over right beside me. And mommy, so I said, Mommy, we're dead now. We're dead now. We're dead. We're going to jail tonight. So now we did it. And we are afraid. We are afraid. We are afraid. And then. Pull over and then stop right over foot and say, them said to us, say, when will I come from? Then I think we said, good night. Then I just said, when will I come from? So my mouth, my want to talk, but no so now come out of my mouth. I'm amazed at things that I'm going to jail tonight and we have to pay one million dollars each. Because we're breach. So, um, we did it. Mother said, oh, she'll come from young her friend. She'll come from this, blah, 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 blah. And uh, me not talking at all of this, a mother wanna talk. So them I say, no, so I'm gonna lock no up door. So I say, shit, look how we get with self in Look how we get with self in Now all of this, me still not talk. Speechless. Now, this over there, I fret my heart a beat come like it. I go pump, pulp out, pump out, pulp, pulp, pulp out, pump out through my clothes. Then, them did it. Then, then they say, I'm going to lock you up and we are come from and if we don't know see a curfew and we are say, yes, we know a curfew, but it's not our regular habit. Our friend is just going through a lot. Our friend is just going through a lot and we just wanted to be there for them. So anyways, the day and then I ask you someone bigger question, one bigger question, one bigger question. And then the police say, oh, I've seen you guys before. So like what, you know? When you come in the van, some of those things that them are pale little sex step and we feel for go lock we up. Anyways, uh, it turned out that is a police that we are we have actually seen in the area before. And they say if you if they want us if they if we want them to drop us home and I'm saying that up to you, I don't mind walking home. Anyways, they um pick us up and they drop us home. So that was it guys. That was it, that was it, that was it. Yes, so the police just pick us up and drop us home. Drop us home. So guys, we got chased by dogs. 
I had to run in a garage. I almost get chased by a dog again. And then we buck up in a police. Guys, the moral of the story is obey the laws. Obey the laws. Okay? It's not a regular thing for us to go on the road and just reach um curfew like that. No, no, no. Our friend was just going through a rough time. We just had to be there for them. And then we weren't even being mindful of the time. So that's it for the story time. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. If you have watched this video to the end, comment. Comment mango. 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 Anyways, guys, I have a lot to do. I have a lot of work to do. So I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.